morning my dear students this is magdalene ma'am and uh, we are going to talk today about paragraph writing we know very well that it has several sentences it has one unique point main idea or central idea you say that and then you are having a different thing like five to six sentences you may have or you can extend up to 10 or 12 or 15 and of course it should have a main topic sentence and it should have supporting sentences these are the things we used to know about paragraph writing we'll see the next details in the next coming slide and here of course uh, I have given the definition of a paragraph as I said in the beginning it contains series of sentences and it should be complete correct and concise sen sentences or statements it should relate to a single topic and then it should have well organized ideas and it should focus on a particular uh, theme or central idea we will move on to the next slide about knowing more about paragraph writing and here first one is topic sentences and here on the topic sentence it sh you should introduce your paragraph and it should have the main idea and then you can have supporting statements number one and number two and remaining sentences we are having in the next slide we'll see about it the next slide now and in the next slide you are having supporting sentences number three and then last one is closing sentence or statement you are restating the topic sentences and you are just giving the main focus of all the three supporting points with this we conclude the paragraph writing and we'll move on to the next slide my dear students My dear students, next is about types of paragraph. You are having narrative paragraph, descriptive, comparison and contrast paragraph, cost and effect paragraph and technical paragraph. You are having all these types in the paragraph writing. First let us see the first one. We will see that in the next slide. See narrative paragraph, we know very well about story writing, novels and if you read a novel, narrating the incidents or events is so famous. Likewise, here they are going to tell one uh, thing about accident details they are going to give about they are going to narrate the events and incidents about an accident we'll see that here i saw an accident in front of our institution when the practical exam was over i was reaching the bus stop with my friends we saw a crowd gathered around we could see a man injured severely some searched his packet and found a cell phone this informed his family members i went home with heavy heart so this is a paragraph about an accident this man is telling more about the events that happened in the accident and we are now going to see other paragraph writing styles in the next slide
now we are going to see about descriptive paragraph it describe people or place or thing and sometimes it talks about the abstract idea a different idea it may discuss about now we are going to see here the topic as describe teaching as a profession so they are going to tell more about teaching here it's a different and abstract idea and we know very well about teaching here teaching is a noble profession teaching gives you satisfaction in others understand what you teach teaching is a prestigious profession this profession has got ability to transform and develop moral values a teacher can bring out powerful personalities like scientists politicians economists and others teaching is a highly satisfying profession so this is all about you talk about teaching here in the descriptive paragraph now let us see other details in the next coming paragraphs it's all about cause and effect paragraph here you talk about pollution so causes you talk about and then you talk about solutions and what kind of diseases you may get get out of this pollution and how to overcome all those diseases all the details do they give or give and cure in this paragraph so clearly and detailedly here we are going to talk about cause and effect paragraph here causes of pollution and then you talk about diseases coming out from the pollution and then at last you talk about the solution for pollution and now we'll start with the first paragraph and how to write about the causes of pollution air pollution is caused due to impure air produced by vehicles factories and so on noise pollution is caused due to heavy noise made by speakers and factories water pollution is caused due to impure water caused by the discharge of industrial waste likewise they are talking about pollution and its causes now we will see all other details in the next coming paragraphs and now see effects how it affects people with different diseases that they are talking about here depression first one and then diseases and then stress and strain so how to overcome all these diseases and that is given in the solution you can create awareness programs you can give counseling to the uh, perfect members and you can uh, solve their problems and now next one is importance of tree plantation and saving water resources and preserving nature now like this you are giving so many solutions to solve all these problems now we'll move on to the next slide my dear students next one is technical paragraph here you are going to talk about radar radar means radio detection and ranging first practical radar system was developed by robert watson this was used to give warning of bombs during war times it's a type of echolocation which is a way to find the position of the object by measuring the time it takes for an echo to return from it and the remaining details are given in the next slide let us see that in the next slide 
A red antenna is a huge rotation disc that we can see at any airport. It is useful for safe navigation of aeroplanes and ships. Military forces aim missiles and locate enemy forces. Astronomers use radars to mock the surface of distant lands. Air traffic control landing and takeoff are controlled by radar. So this is the technical paragraph. As we know very well, it talks about the functionalities of a particular thing. That is what we see here and that is given in a brief manner and we can study more about technical paragraph it gives only about the topic and it talks about the functions and it talks about the main characteristics of the topic and so it uh, it ends thereby so now let us move to the next slide my dear students